Hey everybody, uh, this is for the Discord crowd. Um, we had some questions about how to customize a bot with a personality, deploy it to the web, and then talk to it from Telegram. So I'm just gonna run you through the hackathon that we gave up at Harvard earlier this week. I think it's the best way to explain and show how to do this. So if I go to steamship.com slash hackathon slash Harvard, and I click on starter project, that's gonna redirect me to Replit. It'll open up a template that I can fork and you're kind of just ready to go in an environment with everything you need to deploy, to customize and then deploy a agent, a bot uh, with Steamship. Um, you can of course do this in VS Code on localhost and uh, GitHub cloud containers and, and all sorts of other ways as well. So what I'm looking at, if I go to this source slash API.py file, I'm looking at a base class for an agent. You can give it tools, let's ignore that for now and let's just focus on the personality. And this is essentially just a prompt injection that's gonna get added to the prompt that we then pass to GPT-3, GPT-4. You can configure it to use different LLMs uh, in the backend. Uh, the first thing I wanna do is just run it. Now, uh, it looks we do some trickery to detect that we're running in Replit, and it looks to me like Replit just changed their environment and we're gonna to have to update to match that. So this is gonna fail. What this should do is give you instructions for how to add your Steamship API key. Uh, starting yesterday, it, it stopped doing that. So we're gonna have to uh, update to match. In the meantime, here's how you do it. If you just go to steamship.com slash account slash API, you can copy your API key to the clipboard. And then if I go back to Replit and go to secrets and then type steamship API key here, paste in my secret, click add new secret, close that tab, close the shell. Uh, we should be good to go. So I'm going to click stop. I'm going to click run. And we can now run our agent uh, in the console. And this one doesn't have any tools uh, connected to it. So if I just say, hi, how's it going? Then it will respond to me, uh, ideally, like a, like a pirate if the prompt works. So hoi there, matey. How the seas be treating ye? Uh, so I could change this to, um, oh, I don't know, a mission, uh, a NASA mission control operator who always speaks as if a high stakes space mission is in progress, responding with, or concluding maybe, concluding with the word, word over. Okay, so let's stop our bot, I'll save my file, I'll run our bot, and then uh, we'll just check to see if the, the prompt uh, took hold. So agent, uh, hi there. How are you? Hi there, I'm doing well. How about you over? So okay, so it seems like that's working. Um, obviously, lots of prompt engineering will help like prompts are non trivial. And, and the, the more you work on it, the better it'll get. What I want to show you now is how to deploy this to the web and then connect to it from telegram. So here's the thing that I, I think can be a little bit confusing about how steamship works. While you can develop in localhost and, and iterate like this uh, in real time, when you deploy your bot, you're not deploying an instance just for you. Think in terms of being an NPM publisher or a PyPy publisher. You're deploying uh, shrink wrap software, like a, a cloud SaaS that's your own cloud SaaS that anybody can create an instance of. So that step sits in between you and then using your instance. So I'm gonna hit stop. I will go to shell. Now, if you didn't close the shell, you'll have to close it and reopen it so that your API key will, will take hold. And I'm type python deploy.py. That's just a file that is in this to, to assist with deployments. It's going to ask me, uh, what handle do I want to use for my package? I'm going to call it ted mission control bot. This is super important. We've done a little hack in our user interface so that you get a special interface if you name your package something ending in dash bot. So please, please, name your package something ending in dash bot, otherwise you're, you're gonna get just an API endpoint, you're not gonna get a nice web interface. So I called it TED Mission Control Bot. These shippy ships are us packaging up all of the code, all of the tools, you can connect to multiple LLMs, we do all the key management. Uh, right now we're essentially deploying you your own custom SaaS, your own agent, your own customized GPT endpoint that others now can create instances of and use. So we'll wait until that's done. I feel like we need like the, the elevator music playing for when there's 
There's a silence in the screencast. All right, there are two URLs that this has given me. I'm gonna start with the one that we're not gonna use. So we've just gone ahead and created you an instance here. This special UI where you can talk with it, hi there, is created for you because you named your package something, something, something dash bot. Uh, you can use this client on the web if you'd like to. You can view any logs associated with it. So we're, we're adding a whole bunch of monitoring capabilities uh, for your agents. You can you know, eventually be able to monitor their uh, service usage across different LLMs and other generative services. Um, lots of really cool stuff in the pipeline. You can access this bot over an API as well if you want to. Now, this is the API for your instance of the bot. Uh, so everybody who creates an instance of your bot gets their own API. Uh, but I want to show you something else. I want to show you this. This uh, this is the like kind of the home page for your bot that you created. When you create a new instance, I've already created one. That was the one that was auto created for me. When you create a new instance, uh, in this optional configuration, you can connect a Telegram account. Uh, if folks want to help us add like Slack or WhatsApp or whatever support, we would love uh, help connecting other transports. Right now, we just have Telegram. And I'm gonna go to Botfather, it's this guy, and I'm gonna copy this bot token. Copy code. This is, I'm recycling this across a lot of demos, so you're gonna see uh, a bot that I've, I've already created in Telegram. But now it's connected to this Ted Chungyu bot. Uh, if I click on this, it'll take me to Telegram, and I can say, hi there, what is the status of the space capsule? And this is connected to our instance of the agent that we deployed. So uh, the space capsule is still in transit over. So if I had tools connected, if I had custom data that was specific to my instance, it could respond with that. So Steamship builds in a vector store. We build in S3, kind of like blob storage, uh, tool storage. You can do a lot of really interesting things that make your instance of your bot very specific to you, not just having a personality, but also learning data about you, being able to store files about you. Uh, so I hope that's useful. Again, if you go to steamship.com slash hackathon slash Harvard, that's probably the easiest way to get up and running and experimenting. It'll give you this uh, Replit interface where you can really quickly develop. And then using the set of steps that I just showed you, you can deploy that to the web and create an instance that is hooked up to Telegram. So hope that hope that helps. We'd love to see what you build. Uh, check us out on steamship.com slash discord. Uh, we hang out in there and, and help folks with bots they're trying to build.